हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू एक उम्मीद हेल्प यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑफ स्प्रिंग बूट ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज थैंक यू फॉर ऑल योर सपोर्ट प्लीज डू हिट ए लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल वेल लेट्स चेक अबाउट सम फ्यू मोर एग्जाम्पल इन वाई एम एल फाइल आफ्टर दैट विल कन्फिगर वाई एम एल फाइल विद आवर एप्लीकेशन सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी सी फ्यू ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज ऑब्जेक्ट how to create an object so let's suppose a book is an object and has author author and name publisher publisher name so make sure you have to put in a space okay so this way you can declare an object in yml file so let's see some thing else boolean let's suppose you have a boolean value you want to store true you can do it okay another another boolean value you have false okay so in this way you can store the boolean value um, a string let me talk about something a string so a string hello java so this is way you can store another string value i want let's suppose i want to keep some special character in my string hello colon java so colon is the special so that won't work why am i not happy with that one so in that case what i need to do i'll put some double quotes in string into a double quote so that yml can recognize it so this way you can configure your yml file okay so now let's jump into that uh, application how to so in our application you have seen right the contact email id and phone so let me cut from here and put in this file so that my spring boot application pick the value from yml file okay and let me remove uh, organize in as an object so contact has an email id let me email id remove as a ummi help at the rate gmail.com and my phone number i am just keeping 678 here you have to put a colon and you don't need to again provide contact because contact is an object and has two attributes okay so this way you can modify your object and put into the yml file and let me run this application and see if the changes is reflected or not okay so now you can see application is running and let's wait for a few second application is starting okay so now you, here you can see email is help at the rate gmail.com and phone number is 67890 okay so now if you change here something 2343334 something okay mm, now again the page will refresh and changes reflected here so you can see like how easily your configuration is loaded from this application.yml so spring boot automatically recognize application.yml file as well you don't have to do anything so this is very interesting you can go and and check it out this one i will uh, upload this uh, into github okay uh, you will download the code from here and do a practice and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much